I would like to say a few things about Bishop Brewer and his vision for taking our seat in the councils of the church. But let me tell you a story first. I started following Bishop Brewer from a distance in 2012, when he was in Indianapolis for his first time at General Convention as a diocesan bishop. I was watching this bishop on Twitter and Facebook carrying huge binders under each arm, giving video updates late at night, and talking about the wisdom of wearing specific shoes for walking, which he learned from other deputies. It's been a joy to serve at the last two general conventions in 2018 and 2022. In doing that, I've been able to watch his relationships with his peers and colleagues in the House of Bishops and the other leaders in the House of Deputies. One of the pillars of his episcopacy has been that we will take our seats in the councils of the church. And that is something where he has led the way and has been a great example to the rest of our diocese. Bishop Brewer is an example of speaking and working with everyone across the spectrum of the Episcopal Church. I've seen firsthand the fruit of Bishop Brewer's example as our deputies are doing the same thing, writing resolutions, serving on committees, working with leaders from across the various dioceses and taking their seats in the councils of the church in an active and fruitful way. And this extends beyond the example of General Convention. He served as the co-chair of the Evangelism Commission. He was on the presiding bishop's task force of communion across difference, has served as the national chaplain for the Daughters of the King and represented province four on program, budget and finance committee for the most recent general convention. I wanna celebrate that something Bishop Brewer set up as a goal, as something he wanted to accomplish in his episcopacy has been fulfilled not only in his role as the bishop, but by lay leaders, deacons, priests from our diocese, they're serving the Episcopal Church in a similar way that he has with joy, grace, gentleness, respect, wisdom, and clarity.